you ever heard of thermal friction drilling? Well, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to show you right now. Now, to do this demonstration, you'll notice that I actually took the, the safety shield off the machine so you can see it better. And that being said, eye protection is always a must. Proper eye protection. Don't want to lose your ohos. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn it from low speed to high speed. We're going to start our machine. You can see we're spinning at a super high speed. And on our spindle here, we actually have this aluminum fixture, which is drilled full of holes. The reason it's drilled through, full of holes is because we want the heat focused in the tip and this cutting head and not necessarily traveling up the spindle and putting all that heat inside the machine itself. I've already taken the liberty of setting the spindle depth on the machine because you don't want to go too far. So here we go. You can see it cutting, getting hot. It's actually going to blow the material. There we go. You can see this first hole that we actually made. We left the flange on top of the surface of this metal here. You can leave that there for added strength. However, if you need it to be flush on the surface, I'm now going to demonstrate running this head down further, and it has a cutting head on it. So it's going to make the same threaded boss area. It's not going to be threaded just yet, but it will actually cut off the top of that flange and make it flush. Just like so. Now, utilizing a tap, you can tap that same material. And what's great is this isn't any extra added piece. This is actually utilizing the same metal from this piece and forcing it down. So it still maintains parent metal. So you can see from this simple demonstration the capabilities of thermal friction drilling. And that being said, for more information on thermal friction drilling or any of these machines that we offer, it's simple. Just visit Bailey.com.